깨봉 In order to answer this question, we have to understand the essence of the problem. This may seem like an ordinary sequence problem, but the essence of this problem is prediction. Let's look at these numbers as images. We can use one cube to represent the first number, one. Now we need three cubes to represent the second number, three. But remember, one cube was already placed down, so we only need two cubes. Since the third number is seven, we only need to place four more cubes to make the total number of cubes equal to seven. What are we finding through this process? Amazing! Each column implies change. We add six more cubes so that the total is 13. In order to match the next number, 21, how many cubes do we need to place? Amazing! Like I said before, these columns all indicate change. Do you see any patterns? Does something catch your attention? How many cubes do we have to place next? Then, how many is that? So, the next number in the sequence would be 10 greater than 21. Ah, so the next number would be 31. Isn't it easier to visualize such problems? Now, if we want to predict the 100th or 631st number of this sequence, we have to look at the big picture. There must be a pattern! We already recognize what this pattern is. The added changes increase by 2. There's just one place where this pattern is not applicable. Where do you think this is? We look at the pattern in reverse. The first number looks a little sketch. Unlike every other number in the sequence, it does not have a difference of 2 with its previous number. What can we do to make this pattern applicable for every number in the sequence? We should get rid of this cube. Then, every number will have a difference of 2. One small issue. We can't just remove the cube, that's changing the question! Think about what to do next. Here's a hint. Ignore! Math is easier when you ignore a few factors. Here, we can ignore position. Yeet! Look, the pattern works perfectly! To predict what the 10,000th number is, we need to know the total number of cubes here without using any formulas. What's the first thing that comes into your mind when you think of numbers increasing by 2? 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Why? If we add these up, we get squares. 5 squared. However, this here is 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So what do we have to do? How? Since we have nowhere to borrow from, we bring it from nothing. This here is minus. Now we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Perfect! We can count the total until the 10,000th number. If we add everything together, 
we get 10,000 squared. Below, we borrowed one cube each, a total of 10,000 cubes borrowed. So we subtract 10,000. We also removed one cube in the beginning, remember? Thus our final answer is 10,000 squared minus 10,000 plus 1. Then what's the hundred millionth number? How about the nth number? People find this problem very difficult, but we can easily solve it without using any formulas. We just need to think the Gebong way. We should not blindly solve these questions by using formulas. It does not prove our understanding of anything. Like we learned today, we have to know why we are doing what we are doing. Then, we gain confidence as we solve problems. People still ask, what if our school tells us to solve it by using formulas without any images? Today, we learn by feel. This means that we understand it completely. Expressing this as mathematical equations is extremely easy. We simply convert what we just did into a mathematical language. Summary time! The essence of number sequence is prediction. In order to predict, we need to know the change and find the pattern of these changes. If the pattern doesn't match, we temporarily change the problem to match it. How? We ignore position. By ignoring position, we can move these cubes to the side or borrow it. Also, if the change is increased by 2, the sum is a square. Concepts such as prediction, change, pattern, and making something abstract are characteristics of a genius and the essence of computational thinking. Computational thinking is a mandatory skill for coding education and computer science. But most importantly, for people living in the world of AI. These skills will grow quickly if we do things the Gebong way. That's it! Gebong! Gebong!